My dearest brothers and sisters, this is Hakan speaking. I greet you in peace and love. Currently, your world is gripped by fear. There is fear of a third world war, fear of people's children being drafted, fear of their cities going up in smoke, fear of economic hardship, fear of Trump, fear of the left, fear of the right, fear of immigrants, fear of the other, etc., etc. Now, the situation on earth is within the band of predicted situations, and my prediction remains that likely, though not guaranteed, your lives will substantially improve and you will meet us in 2024 or 2025. Two critical variables are the energy on earth and the level of consciousness of humanity. And those two variables keep rising, which is good. Still, recently, not as much progress has been made as we would have liked. The situation is very complex, but three prominent reasons for this are. The Grey Hats haven't made big public moves. There is some hope that the rising energies and current situation will nudge them to start taking open action and even to potentially become actual white hats at some point in the future. But so far, this hasn't happened. Average people are waking up, but not that quickly. And the non-evil, spiritually awake people haven't come together to form a large coherent group. You have actually been doing your light work and your inner work, and you're holding on to that light quite well. And for that, I commend you and want to express my respect. But there isn't yet a clear, widely known, open, relatively large, non-corrupted lightworker or first contact organization. The impact of lightworkers is being limited because many of them are isolated. Of course, many souls of earth humans also want the situation to speed up. And many souls are seeing that their lower selves are simply refusing to wake up, and that their lower selves are desiring comfort, and basically go back a few decades, not realizing that this is a desire to return to a nicer form of slavery. Souls are really wanting their lower selves to wake up, and to build a new world, and experience this new and heart-centered society. And also, if the population remains asleep, then neither the black hats or the gray hats are going to win and be a hidden group of controllers who runs the world, which isn't great, unless us galactics intervene in a direct way, which has the disadvantage that Earth humans won't learn their own lessons. And so the New Earth Society might not be stable. So basically, what souls are really wanting is that average people wake up and become informed. Because that's the best path towards the kind of heart-centered society that everyone wants to see on Earth. Hence, many souls of Earth are nudging towards big confrontations. NATO versus Russia, Trump versus Biden, or whoever the Democratic candidate will be, Israel versus Palestine, in order to shake their lower selves awake. The goal here isn't billions of deaths. The goal here is to wake up their own lower selves. Right now, us galactics aren't yet doing a direct intervention because creating these confrontations is the plan of the souls, the true selves, of many people of Earth. And we want to honor the free will choices of the souls of the people of Earth. Moreover, this is a plan that could work to finally wake enough people up. Indeed, the recent conviction of Trump 
has already woken up some people to the unfairness that's going on. And the Ukraine, Russia, NATO situation, and the, in my opinion, genocide in Gaza are helping some people realize that war sucks and the people of Earth must learn to live together in peace. Furthermore, the current situation is increasing the pressure on the Grey Hats to actually start publicly arresting traitors and provide public disclosure because the Grey Hats don't want World War III. So, it is possible, though certainly not guaranteed, that they will finally be nudged to take action in the not-too-distant future. So, these global situations are nudging people to wake up. On the other hand, the current conflicts are also leading to even more fear on your world. So, I predict that things will get quite rocky. However, what's not going to happen is billions of people dying in an all-out nuclear war. Now, will we see a conventional World War III between NATO, Russia, and possibly others? Likely not. Hopefully, the threat of it is enough to scare people awake. But I can completely rule out World War III. Ultimately, we're respecting the wishes of the souls of Earth humans. And frankly, many souls right now are nudging towards confrontation because people are simply refusing to wake up. And souls are seeing few other ways of waking people up. Of course, what would be a nicer road to people waking up is if either the Grey Hats arrested traitors and released public disclosure. Or, alternatively, it could help if there was an organization named something like Local Meetings for Those Seeking First Contact with Benevolent ETs. Or some catchier name along those lines. The point of that organization would be to facilitate local meetings between Earth humans who are interested in first open contact with benevolent galactics, such as us, Palladians. It would be very beneficial for like-minded, awake humans to start meeting up. And such an organization could create an alternative future in the minds of onlookers, not World War III not tyranny, declining living standards, but instead open contact with friendly extraterrestrials. Said organizations shouldn't focus on hierarchy or leaders or formal structures or on online meetings or online content. The focus should be on local, in-the-flesh meetings preferably somewhat regularly, let's say once per month, or whatever the frequency is that works best for the local group. What you do together is up to you, and isn't as important as the simple act of meeting up in the first place. You could walk together, share a meal and conversation together, have a meditation group together, Organize small presentations or workshops about, for example, spiritual healing technologies. Do a book club on a book about spirituality or galactic races or to discuss certain channelings that you have found thought-provoking. Or you could watch a movie together or do some volunteer work together. Just do some fun activity together, etc. Us Galactics can't promise to immediately start physically showing up and meeting these groups, although that might happen at some point in the future, if we decide to go the route of first meeting with select individuals before we land openly. Still, in the very near future, don't expect us Galactics to physically show up to these gatherings. 
Instead, we suggest going to them with the intention of meeting and spending quality time with other like-minded earth humans. The channeler has his hands full. If anyone feels called to start an organization, you have the channelers and our blessing. The most important thing would be to have a website that facilitates people meeting up locally. And if you have made such a website, feel free to write comments linking to your site under future articles by this channeler. What you can also do is just arrange such a meeting without creating the whole organization. You can do that, for example, by registering some secondary email address and posting in this comment section something like, Hello, I live in this area, in this country. Are there people nearby who would like to meet up? At first, in a public place, for everyone's safety? If you're interested, please mail the secondary email address of mine. And then just see if people respond. Other than meeting up with people, what can you personally do? Well, of course, it's good to continue to do your own inner work, because that indirectly lifts up all of humanity too. Remember Ashtar's messages. You are a reincarnating soul. Fundamentally, you cannot be harmed, and you have already succeeded in your task on earth, because you have already brought light and done your part in helping to hold aloft the consciousness of the world. So you cannot be harmed and you cannot fail. You can only either succeed or succeed to an even greater extent. What you can also do is help others, if that's just by being kind to them. If people perceive that others are looking out for them, or at least present and kind, that helps dispel some of the fear. Finally, listen to your own inner guidance. I hope this was helpful, and even though these times may be rocky and scary, it really is likely that we will meet this year or the next. And that will be a glorious and amazing time. Indeed, your star brother, Hakan.